Hi dolls, what's up? And welcome back to another Fragrance Friday! And welcome if you are new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become part of the family. My name is Z and I love to do tons of lifestyle girly pink and fragrance related content. So if that's something you dolls are obsessed with, go ahead and smash the bell notification so you don't miss any of my new video jobs. Pink Paper Dolls. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Okay dolls, so you have seen the title, so you already know that this is going to be a fragrance review. I absolutely love doing fragrance reviews you guys this is like my favorite top videos to film aside from like decorate with me so dolls in today's video we are going to be reviewing victoria's secrets bombshell intense yes i am so excited to review this fragrance because i am not gonna lie to you guys i've already worn this fragrance because I wanted to give you guys a review of longevity and things like that with this fragrance. So I've been wearing this fragrance and can I say, I'm a little bit obsessed. But I will be beautifully honest with what I think about it and also the packaging and everything like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this review. To start out, um, I picked up the 1.7 ounce. You won't break my soul. You won't break my soul. Gotta tell them, B. As I was saying, we got the 1.7 ounce, which is $59.99, I believe, so around $60. I did have a, it was a special on this. I think I paid $25 for it. Was it 25 yes i think when i picked this up there was a special on it and it was for 25 dollars. they had it on sale so i went ahead and grabbed it they also had the three ounce bottles i think it's like a 3.4 ounce those are i believe they're 79.99 let me just check i, I don't want to give you guys the wrong information oh 95 my bad so the 1.7 ounce is actually 59.95 and then the 3.4 ounces actually 79.95 so those are the price points you're looking at like i said i did pick this up when it was on sale i believe i paid around 25 dollars for this so very very lucky there i never buy victoria's secret perfumes full price i always have a coupon a discount i always got something up the sleeve girl i'm never going in there just <laughs> giving them my money like here you go not gonna do that so let's go ahead and get into the product description i have it pulled up here on my phone it says a decadent sister to bombshell americans number one fragrance inspired by the perfect red bombshell intense embodies the powerful emotion the color implies the scent opens with a creamy rush of cherry, lush and bright. Next, the fragrance moves into a layer of velvety red peony for a deep saturated take on bombshell signature petally floral. Rich vanilla wraps it all in sultry warmth for an indulgent finish. Ooh, so it sounds like it's like a sexy type of scent, you guys. And that's exactly what I got when I initially smelt it in the store. I will be smelling it here for you guys again, just to let you guys know uh, as I smell it what's coming to mind. Um, it says the fragrance type is Chapri Flo Fruity Floral. I don't know how to pronounce this. Chapri, Chapre, Chapri. It's C-H-Y-P-R-E, Fruity Floral. I'll put it up on the screen. It says the notes are lush cherry, red peony, and sultry vanilla. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So it says the lush cherry, this decadent note blends an almost almond-like creaminess with a pop of maraschino cherry. I love me some maraschino cherries, y'all. That note in every fragrance that I've smelled so far smells so freaking good. Um, it says red peonies, a deep saturated and bold. This crimson variety turns heads with an intense floral signature. And then the sultry vanilla sourced from Madagascar. That's that, that's that vanilla right there. That Madagascar vanilla is that vanilla, okay? The warm gourmand note lends a rich sensual glow to the fragrance. Right off the bat, 
let me just let you know. I am a gourmand girly. I love fruity, cake, candy, pastry, sweet, warm scents. That's just my taste. I've been getting into floral a little bit more. And what I've noticed is peony is the floral that I love the most out of all of the florals. So the fact that this has cherries in it, and my favorite flower, a peony in it, and also vanilla. I, when I saw the notes on the box, when I picked it up, I knew right away that this was a fragrance that I was either going to love or hate. So here's the box. It's like this matte red finish, love that. Um, it has the traditional Victoria's Secret stripes that all of the bombshell packaging has. And then it is lined with this black, giving me very much a devilish type, sultry, good and sweet and evil at the same time type vibe. You know what I mean? Like lock me up in handcuffs type vibes. I'm definitely getting that. So let's go ahead and unbox her. So in when you open her up it's completely matte black inside which i thought was just so cool because the box is red and i was definitely expecting it to be red inside so it to be black inside was just like oh what is this and then you open her up wait yeah you open her up and voila this a beautiful a gorgeous a like <sighs> ruby red bottle comes out of the package and that's exactly what it reminds me of a giant ruby gem it's just so pretty it's a deep red with this black like ombre towards the bottom which is really really playing into the box as well with that black i love that the fact that they had that black background against this bright red was just oh my god like they did it it definitely screams to me like valentine's day or some type of sultry sexy time definitely if you're you're with your man or your husband or whatever this is a great scent for that i feel like there's definitely some type of pheromones or something or hormones in this fragrance because when you smell it you're gonna go nuts it smells so freaking good there is the signature tie around the neck of the perfume bottle i'm sorry i hope you guys can see this i might just insert some b-roll but there is that signature tie that red lace oh just so beautiful is it a lace it's like that red sheer ribbon that just says victoria's secret on it really really pretty the neck and the cap is black matching in with their theme and then the lid is just so pretty it feels like i'm holding a diamond like i have a ruby in my hand like that is just so cute like i'm obsessed with it um and also let's talk about the nameplate a little bit it is like a sheer white nameplate but it's outlined in a black um matte finish i think the nameplate is okay i don't I feel like it matches the vibe and the theme of it. I know I'm usually like, oh, your nameplate needs to be like a metal nameplate embossed and all that, but I feel like that probably would have been too much for this bottle. I feel like it's already giving so much that this is the perfect name played yes of course they could have done a little bit more with the nameplate but honestly it does not take away from the bottle at all in my opinion it's just so pretty and then you have those classic matte victoria's secret lines going down it just so cute and beautiful it like plays into the theme so now let's go ahead and spray it in the air we'll do a cold sniff in the air the reason why i do this is because not everybody sprays fragrances on their skin and yes i do have to do this disclaimer because people will ask me in the comments over and over again why are you spraying it in the air just spray it on your skin well like i said not everyone wears it on their skin some people do wear it in the air so i want to give those people opportunity to get an idea of what the fragrance is like as well as those of us who spray it on our skin so we'll do the air test first then on our skin and i'll let you guys know what i think by the way just popping in i forgot to tell you guys what is on my lips so i am wearing color pops fresh kiss lip lacquer in the color spritz me and it's just this like really pretty berry toned color and I like this because it's really shiny, but it's also really tacky. And I don't know why, but I just like the feeling of it on my lips. It's very moisturizing. So if you guys have not checked this out, go to ColourPop and check it out because it is a really nice lip gloss. Okay, back to the air test. Oh my God. You know what I feel like, guys? I feel like I am wearing black lingerie rolling around in a 
velvet bed that is red. I'll like post up a picture to give you guys some ideas on the screen of what's coming to mind. Very, very sultry, but I'm rolling around in this velvet red bed with red roses everywhere. And then this hot, sexy vampire comes in and that's all y'all need to know because this channel is rated PG. Okay, yes, girl, I am smelling, it's just, it has that traditional bombshell musky scent, which I don't think they mention any type of musk, but there is a little bit of a musky note to it. Um, I would describe this as a fruity florally musk, in my opinion. Fruity florally sweet musk, because it definitely is more on the sweet side. It's more of a sweet, sultry type fragrance in my opinion. The sultry part is definitely coming in from that Madagascar vanilla note in it. It's just so good. I smell like this strong, beautiful um, cherry note, but also this very, very beautiful peony note that is standing right up next to it. I don't know why, but fruit and peony goes really, really well together I'm also getting like a more of a plummy note too as well I don't know why I'm smelling that but when I smell this I'm just smelling like strong plum cherry pomegranate type scent Ooh, and then it just like flows into this creamy warm smooth vanilla that is just giving me all the sexy musky man vibes like Oh, it's just so pretty, you guys. I love this scent. Definitely, definitely for me, a must buy. Again, I will say it is very, very, very strong in the notes. All of Bombshell's fragrances are very strong. Um, so a little bit of this, again, will go a very long way. I can tell you guys about longevity. This does last on my skin for about three hours I would say in between two and three hours so this actually doesn't give that great longevity like the other fragrances I know have like sun drenched by bombshell that will last like up to four hours even longer on the skin but this one only gave me in between like two to three hours I did notice it the longevity wasn't that great but the potency is very very high again let's go ahead and try it on our skin so let's see if we get anything that we didn't smell in the air or maybe we might smell something a little bit different oh my god it's just so good it's like a sexy vampire like I'm not even kidding hitting you like a sexy Victoria's Secret model vampire it's sultry but it's also a little bit devilish I just find it to be a little bit on the dark sultry side and that could be because of the maraschino cherries as well because maraschino cherry is like a deep rich cherry so maybe that's why oh my god strong cherry scent with that vanilla the vanilla just punches through so much more on the skin than it does in the air i still smell the peony very strongly but it's more of a punch of cherry then a vanilla overtone and then it mellows out into a nice warm vanilla-y peony scent on my skin that's what i'm getting but I love this, you guys. I'm sorry if I'm a little nasally. I am dealing with like extreme allergies at the moment. Oh my God, it just smells so freaking good. It's so sexy. Like this just smells so hot and sexy. You guys, let's go ahead and get into rating this fragrance. Price point, it is around $60. Again, you guys know, I don't know if it's worth $60. I will say a lot of bombshell fragrances are worth the $60. Um, $80 though for the 3.4 ounce, I just feel like that's way too much. Definitely go with a coupon or some type of discount or when it's on sale. Definitely try not to pay full price for this. But I do feel like the scent embodies everything that the description mentioned. Even the packaging as well plays into that central, sexy, fruity, warm, sweet, musky note. So I don't know you guys, I feel like if this was $50, it would be worth it $60 is kind of pushing it but like I feel like if you're if you're someone who loves these type of scents it is kind of worth $60 I don't know that I would pay $80 though for the three ounce um, so price point I'm going to give this a Mm, one out of ten I'll give it a six for price point I think that it's okay but it definitely could be better um, I'm almost kind of neutral on it like I don't mind paying the $60 for a one ounce but 
I don't want to pay $80 for the 3.4. <laughs> Potency, I'm going to give this a 8 out of 10 for potency. This is very, very potent. I don't feel like it's more potent, however, than the Bombshell Sun Drenched, but it is, it still is very, very potent for packaging, you guys. Let's talk packaging. You guys know I'm obsessed with the packaging. Um, I absolutely love this. It's uh, definitely a new, unique take on the traditional bombshell packaging. I know you guys are probably like, girl, they're just changing the bottle color up on you and they're getting you on that. But if that's all they have to do to suck me in, girl, go ahead and do it because this is sucking me in. This is definitely giving me central sexual vibes, definitely playing into all of the maraschino cherry and the roses that they mentioned. Even the notes in the fragrance match the bottle. You know what I'm saying? So they're definitely giving it, I feel like, top-notch effort. I would rate this probably an 8 out of 10. Um, again, the only reason why I wouldn't do a 10 is because of the nameplate. I feel like they could have did something a little bit different with the nameplate. But I'm also not mad at the nameplate either. But I just feel like they could have did a little bit different. Just a little bit. Okay, so let's rate it overall the fragrance notes. All of the fragrance notes that were mentioned in that description, I smelt in this fragrance very, very strong. There was not one fragrance note that they mentioned that wasn't there or I didn't smell. The only thing I will say about the notes is I was smelling a little bit more extra things, like I was smelling a pomegranate. Um, and also like a plummy note to it and it did not mention plum or anything like that But for me that definitely enhanced the fragrance. I would give this fragrance. Are you guys ready for this? I would give this fragrance on notes alone. I give it a 10 out of 10 because all of the notes that they mentioned Like I said was there you smelt them so prominently. This is definitely a 10 out of 10 on the fragrance notes Now to rate this fragrance overall 1 out of 10. I would rate this fragrance in eight yes you guys it definitely sold the experience to me like I was definitely seeing things and feeling things and ex having an experience with this fragrance and not just like oh that smells all right oh the packaging is okay it all wrapped together sold me the story so yes this fragrance for me overall gets an eight out of ten absolutely absolutely love this fragrance would suggest it to you I think I will continue to buy this fragrance definitely for me more of a nighttime fragrance definitely a little bit more on the mature side not old but mature were side definitely more for a sexual um, sensual type of vibe if you're looking for anything like that I definitely would pick it up for that perfect for Valentine's Day might also be perfect for a birthday or an anniversary so all you guys out there if you have girls who have anniversaries coming up definitely head in and check out this scent it smells so good you guys I definitely would suggest it to at least give it a try um, let me know too in the comments below if you guys try this out what you think about it if you like it if you don't like it why you like it or why you don't like it I would love to know you guys opinions on these fragrances anyways doll that was my review of the bombshell intense perfume Hume. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Leave all of your fragrance suggestions for me below. Any requests of reviews that you guys have, I do write them down. I know sometimes it takes me a while to get around to reviewing them, but they are on my phone in my notes app and I keep them. And every time I go fragrance shopping, I keep a lookout for what you guys request. So definitely leave it in the request below and I will definitely get to it. I promise you guys. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye, doll.